Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Planning P6. Today we are here with the topic of how we can show and customize print setups for the WS chart view. So let's move forward to our topic. It's easy to see the WBS in chart view. Open your Primavera P6 software, open it. After the opening, open your program of works or schedule where you want to apply the chart view. Open that project and then open the WBS. After the opening WBS, hide this bottom layout. These are the WBSs for that project. It's so simple to show and customize the WBS chart view in Primavera P6 to see somewhere then they called the name of WBS tree. Go to the this option. You can see here the chart view. Click on it. Now you can see the chart view of your WBS. If you double click on it, then it will be showing like that. Now we will customize it. If you want to see here, here is arrange children's horizontal or vertical. Now these are the vertical. And if you want to horizontal by the your desired or required specifications, then you can arrange by. And again, if you want to change align children's, click on that one where you want to align align children if you want to center it will be in center and if you want to align left now the all children like these boxes are moved to left and if you want to arrange in right then it will all will be in right side we will arrange as center for good look and then if you chart box template obs now we will just go to the colors first of all if you want to change the color writing writing we want to change suppose that just say bookman old style bold italic and 10 size will remain 10 if you want to change this back color with any of other color you can change from here and if you want to change this box color then you can change I don't want to change that because the yellow is the default color and I want to use that default color apply and ok now you can see here the color has been changed right click on here and now again go to the chart box font and colors chart box template and go to the customize here in customize you can see here the first option is just open it and move down here if you go to here and want to squeeze the horizontally then apply you can see here the all boxes are in horizontal and wbs code wbs name and responsible manager we don't want responsible manager here delete it and apply the responsible manager is going up whatever you want you can add from here and shift up and do down whatever you want you can add too many and you can also delete this as well from here and move shift up and shift down you can like that delete mostly we are using wbs code and wbs name w width 100% okay we want 100% width and height one two three whatever you want two and wbs name we want in the six rows or six rows apply now you can see here the wbs codes are showing here like that this is how you can manage from here your wbs's and also you can change the width by using this one this is how you can customize it by using this method you can see here our all wbs's are here and if you want to see just suppose that you want to see close to if you want to see and print only level one apply this is level one and also you can open by expand by clicking this plus button here okay and click it 
now the w is level 2 now the 3 is open and if you you go in detail then again you can you have option to open that from here this is how you can customize change the colors from here and control the width and length of your chart option and if you want to again see the table view then you go to the here and table you can see the table view open chart view again now we will set up print setup for that one expand these all expand all because we have to print and in the center go to the printing option in the printing option you can see here it's showing data go to the page setup first of all you have to manage your margins here margins whatever you want you can set your margins as the print layout as i already described headers and footers you can set and for the setting this one you just go to the adjust to first of all and say uh, 50 percent here 50 percent and uh, apply now you can see here this is here and we want to select the page a3 or a4 a5 a1 a2 whatever you want and portrait is best if you want to see your uh, chart is in horizontally in big size then you can manage by landscape otherwise it's vertical is okay and go to the fit to one and page wide wise by one one now you can see here the over all characters are fit in one this is how you can arrange your WSS chart and print it this is if you want to zoom it and just go here increase the values and fit to again apply now the zoom in okay now you can see here if you zoom it and print a pdf then it will be showing like that this is how you can manage your wbs chart and if you want to print individually for level 1, 2, just go to close to and if you want to up to WS level 4, you can print it up to level 3, you can print it separately and if you want to open only and only one for the one WS you want to print, you can also print that. Just OK, click on here and you want to print uh, this WS and you don't want to show other ones then take a screenshot or arrange this this chart children's by whatever you want just arrange the children's in center this is in center and if you want to arrange the children for that engineering phase just arrange the children left right just say left and then arrange the children's by by left you can see here it's move and if you select again this one and if you want to in center then center it these are in center and if you arrange children's horizontals it will be horizontal like that this is how you can manage your wbs chart view in primavera p6 hopefully you understand today's tutorial thanks for watching allah hafiz